So I just got done watching Joker Folly Adieu, this is the long-awaited sequel to Joker back in 2019. Now I wouldn't say long-awaited for some of you, some of you will be like, this is very unnecessary, the first Joker movie did not need a sequel, so I don't know why the hell this movie exists, why even they made it. And some of the people, like myself included, were like, you know what, let them cook, let's see what they are going to create here, because Todd Phillips and... Joaquin Phoenix have said before in an interview that they are not going to be returning to this character again unless there is something interesting behind and they returned to it so let's see what it was about. The fact that it was a musical really turned off a lot of people before the movie even came out. They didn't even give the movie a chance which I thought was a terrible thing to do. Like maybe you should give it a chance first. Let's see what the reviewers are saying about it and now that I've seen it I have some things to say. Did it deserve the deep cinema score that it got? Absolutely not. But was it good? Did I like it? Well, no, I did not like it. But should I be appreciative of what they did with the movie? Yes, I think we should appreciate with the direction they went with. They're trying to create something unique and new and fresh in the already derivative comic book genre. And I think firstly, we should appreciate that. Yes, they tried to subvert our expectations and we've seen how that goes in many different movies in the past and it didn't go so well for most of them. But in this movie, it actually didn't go so well either, but I appreciate what they were going for. Now, let's talk about some, let's talk about the great things first regarding this movie. The movie opens up with this cartoonish TV short movie about Joker and his other personality where at first Arthur was the dominating personality instead of him and then Joker was in the shadows but later then he took o Joker took over him and now Arthur is in the shadows. That's how it starts and that's the main idea that the filmmakers and the writers want to explore in this movie. It's an interesting idea. It wasn't as interesting as the first Joker movie which dealt with much more deeper things. Here, it was there. So we are talking about his split personality here. And the movie progresses and yeah, you can already guess how the movie is gonna go. It's a musical. After the first 15 minutes of the movie is done, it's a straight up musical. There's even a song written by Lady Gaga herself for this movie specifically. The story was very off-putting here. So remember Arthur's character arc in the first movie, how that went? In this movie, it ruins Arthur's character arc from the first movie because it is presenting Arthur's mindset in a different view. Like now he's guilty of his crimes in the first movie where he shot Murray Franklin and all that. They were actually showing flashbacks, like a couple of flashbacks from the first movie as well. He feels that he should be punished and all that. So it kind of feels like they're reverting back on his character arc from the first movie. Harley Quinn, played by Lady Gaga herself. I didn't feel that much of an emotional attachment to her character. Maybe that was intentional because he here's the thing. She's Harley Quinn, right? And I've, I, don't, I haven't seen many renditions of this character. So maybe the character is like that in its way. But in this movie, especially in this movie, I didn't feel any emotional connection to her character. Now, the actress is great. Her acting is great. It's just the way her character is written. She has this father who's a doctor. So she's somewhat well off. She's somewhat rich. But she herself checked into the mental hospital so what that makes no sense she says that she did it because she wanted to meet the joker wanted to meet arthur but at the same time i just don't understand her motivations here like she's completely fine in that sense because she's the one who checked herself into it so she's a completely fine person i don't understand why she'd want to do such a thing maybe i missed out a vital information like her father's abuser or something maybe i missed something out for her to do such thing but other than that i i, I don't know why what her motivation really is so the movie starts out with Arthur in this mental hospital and that's where he meets Harley Quinn. And she's a very bad influence on him. Although the authority things sit the other way around. So Arthur is really infatuated with her so much so that he would even go on to have musical numbers in his head with her dancing. It's just really very off-putting here. I can see some people enjoying it. Even the musical moments, right? I can feel some superficial enjoyments in them. But other than that, there wasn't much to it. It was a lot of 1950s, there was a lot of 1950s or 60s or 70s Hollywood influence there with the musical numbers, with the Fred Astaire influences, tap dancing, Gene Kelly and all that. I, I don't know how else to describe it best other than they tried for something, they tried to subvert our expectations, they tried to create something unique and fresh and it didn't work out. And that's what happened overall. I wished it worked out and it would have been really amazing but it didn't. 
and it's just really sad some people are saying that this sequel was very unnecessary and i have to say i agree with that it is very unnecessary now would i recommend you to watch this movie yes because it offers a unique perspective in the comic book genre musical and this is something you would probably never ever see in the comic book genre ever again so it provides that perspective so if you want something new and fresh go for this movie but if you are someone who appreciates good character writing and want to be emotionally attached to a character this is not the movie for you i'm afraid the courtroom drama was amazing the cinematography was really good i don't know what todd phillips and the cinematographer were smoking here but the cinematography in this movie was really amazing and and the courtroom drama was really compelling as well with the way joaquin was acting that scene there was a lot of influences in terms of acting from the mask he even somewhat sounds like jim carrey from the mask and yeah honestly it's a fresh perspective on the comic book genre but it didn't work out so well they tried for something new and it didn't work out very well and that's all I have to say. I don't know how I'm going to rate this movie. I, I don't even know how it's possible. That's about it. If you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And see you guys next time. You guys always the mess.